Hello, welcome to Faith Walk, another edition presented by Church Street Church of Christ, Lewisburg, Tennessee. My name is Don Ledford, and it is an honor and a privilege to visit with you. I hope this message finds you and your family doing well as we continue to battle the effects of COVID-19. You know, to say the least, all of us have changed our routines in the last few days. Uh, I found myself the other day watching a basketball game, a professional basketball game that originated in uh, May of 1995. So uh, to say the least, my routine has changed and I'm sure yours has as well. In addition to those changes, I have heard some new phrases, learned some new things, and I'm sure you have as well. There's a figure of speech uh, known as an oxymoron, and, and this figure of speech, it, it takes two uh, uh, situations, uh, perhaps one is positive, one is negative, and it compares them or combines them into a, a meaning that seemingly makes sense. Let me give you a for example. Yesterday, uh, not yesterday, but a few days ago, I heard the term alone together. Uh, now, when one dissects those words uh, and looks at, looks at them in, in detail, that seems impossible. But as we continue to deal with the effects of COVID-19, that statement certainly is true. I wanted us to, to think about alone together in view of Romans chapter 12, verses 9 through 16. These verses are penned by Paul, by inspiration, of course, and shared with the church at Rome. And of course, in first century, there were difficulties as the Lord's church uh, began in existence, and, and there were challenges, daily challenges, that they confronted and were uh, faced with trials and tribulations throughout their lives. But I want us to look at these verses, and then we'll kind of zero in on, on one or two verses specifically. But Paul writes, Let love be without hypocrisy, abhor what is evil, cling to what is good, be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love, in honor giving preference to one another, not lagging in diligence, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing steadfastly in prayer, distributing to the needs of the saints, given to hospitality, Bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. Be of the same mind toward one another. Do not set your mind on high things, but associate with the humble. Do not be wise in your own opinion. Repay no one evil for evil. Have regard for good things in the sight of all men and if possible, as much as depends on you, live peaceably with all men. Well, certainly as we look at these verses that Paul penned and shared with the first century Christian, there are many things that we could glean from these verses and make application in our lives every day. But the verse I wanted us to focus on just for a few minutes and ask that all of us reflect on these in, in the days to come, is verse number 12, and it reads, Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, conti continuing steadfastly in prayer. You know, when we look at, at this advice that Paul shares, it kind of reminds us of, of some of the things that are happening in our lives today. Certainly, uh, as we uh, fight this COVID-19, there are indications and signs that the light at the end of the tunnel can be seen. And certainly we can rejoice in that hope. But above all, 
those who have obeyed Christ Jesus and have followed his commands, we certainly have hope in life here, hereafter because he promises it. And certainly as we look at the, the next part of this verse, patient in tribulation, we all have to exhibit patience from time to time. Very difficult at times, particularly when our routines are upset and we're not getting to do the things that we want to do or like to do. And, and those kinds of situations causes all of us to become impatient and, and want to lash out at, at someone or something. But following that admonition to be patient in tribulation, Paul says, continuing steadfastly in prayer. Or another way of saying that is unwavering. Certainly prayer should be a part of our lives, should be a part of our daily lives. And in those situations, we should uh, visit with God through prayer and, and pour out our heart to him. Last but not least, we do have hope. We do have uh, patience in our tribulations, and we do have the avenue of prayer. But in John 14, verse 27, Jesus told his disciples, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you, but let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Behavior of God's people is very important for the world around us. Let us be fervent in our spirit, in our attitudes. Let us be patient. Let us exhibit that hope. And above all, let us continue in prayer. Would you join me in prayer as we close our time together? Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we pray that you would watch over us, that you would keep us safe. We pray for our nation. We pray for our leaders. We pray for healing in our land. But Father, as we do our part, we pray that we will continue to be patient, that we will share the hope that exists. And Father, we pray that, that as we live our lives, we will continue to rely on you and come to you in prayer and trust and, and faith that you are there. Father, we thank you for the peace that Jesus left us. We thank you for the peace that Jesus gives to us. Father, again, we ask you to bless our nation, keep us safe, keep us humble in your sight, and all that we do and say, we give you the glory and the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Hope you have a great rest of the day, and may the Lord bless you and your family.